Welcome back YouTube, it is Two Point Show, and I am coming back with more Idle Heroes videos, and today I just kind of wanted to show you the importance of building your first hero up as far as you can, instead of splitting up, you know, all of your projects all at once, um, and... You know, for this test, I guess you could say, it is a little bit skewed based on the hero. Um, just going to collect that real quick. Not too bad placement in Guild War. But what I wanted to check out was Brave Trial, since it is open, and it's only open for 8 more hours. Figured now is a better time than ever. Um, but as you can see, my heroes, for the most part, you know, 6 star, 6 star, 6 star... And then the rest are five star. That's not, you know, amazing. And I actually think I have one four star in there. Um, but as you can see, you know, I just focused on one hero and their team did not. They, you know, started building a few. And, you know, obviously I built Heart Watcher and Sigmund. And that's just because, you know, they do help a little in PvE. And some of these teams that hopefully we'll see, like this, 7 star, 7 star, 7 star, 6, 5, 6. That's not how I'd recommend building the team. Um, you know, because if they focus their food on one specific guy, this is just a super low level team. But if they focus their food on one specific hero, you know, they could push him further. And I know that it's not always that way. Um, you know, but... I say pick any easy to build hero, bump them up to 9 or 10, and then kind of keep them there, um, because, you know, you'll feed him anyways. And, you know, if you on the side, you know, can make some 6 star food, I say go for it. Um, but as you can see, since I only have one guy, my power is super low. Their power is maybe 7... Eh? What is that, 70 or 7,000? Yeah. Okay, that one was actually really close. Let's, let's watch this. Um, I didn't really see this dude's team all that well. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, apparently, we had very similar power based on that and Dantalion, which, again, having one does make sense. That your power would be lower instead of working on multiple projects. Um, I don't know why everyone loves to build... Um, what's his name? There's... Uh, okay. Um, again. Not how I would do it. But again, just to compare. Um, we'll kind of show why it's not that good. This dude has a lot of 7 stars. And again, 7 stars are better than 6 for sure. But this dude is going to have a hard time building up his food. Because you can't feed 7 stars. You can't feed 8 stars. You have to wait till they're 9. You know, so that dude is going to be stuck for a long while. Um, and, I don't know. They're, they're not fantastic heroes that he should be going for. You know, if it's like Carrie and you bump her up to 7. Cool. You know, no big deal. She's probably one of the most meta-breaking heroes to have come out, um, so it's understandable why, you know, you should push that, but again, if you can only make it to 7 star, you should focus on just bumping them up to 9, or leaving them at 6 star, um, you know, because clearly the, you know, every, this is, I'm a little bit worried, um, Garuda, can nuke down Dantalion. I've seen it happen so many times. So I'm just going to play it safe. I have more than enough of those little feathers, relics, whatever you want to call it. So I'm not worried. Even if we do die, it's no big deal. But as I was saying, um, you know, it's the jump from 5 to 6 is enormous. The jump from 9 to 10 is even greater because it ups all of the, your skills um, on your hero. Instead of going from like 8 to 9, it'll only up 1. So, again, having 110 star is a lot stronger. 
again, just something I would recommend. Um, on this server especially, there's a ton of whales already, which, you know, is kind of interesting to me. Like, if it's their first account, they've spent a lot of money, and I'm confused for them. You know, but we'll talk about that maybe a different day. Um, but yeah, focus on one hero and it'll do you so much better because this server has so many people that are building seven, eight stars and then they want to start another project. They build, you know, seven star, two or three, and then they want to build another project. It's going to halt them so much. And again, that's really all I wanted to say on that subject. Um, let's see, my button is not working. Very interesting. Alright, anyways. Little intermission as this thing loads. I believe that the Discord is about done. I really hope that it is. Um, so, I will leave a link down below. And, you know, try to finish out some kinks before I just, you know, start spreading it everywhere. But if you guys do have a Discord, finally, I did not click stage 7. But anyways, if you guys do have a Discord, please join down below. Um, it would be awesome, and I would greatly appreciate it. If I forget somehow to leave it down in the description, then I will just make it a comment. Um, the, the little link interesting team but yeah um you guys should totally join i all these teams they irk me i am going to you know try to make it an interactive place for both you know idol heroes members and pokemon but quick little mention this is something that i want to say um if you have a solo carry hero you will fight yourself a lot of the time um most of the time, I like to just get one HP, one attack. Probably didn't really need that HP. Um, but I'll do this, and again, we should win. And if I don't do it this way, then I'll, I'll usually throw another hero in there. But the only thing is, Dantalion heals whenever he's hit. Um, so, you know, if it's like stage 9 or 12 or something, I'll throw Sigmund in slot 1. Sigmund will die. But Dantalion's armor will get reduced a lot. So it's kind of a give and take. Um, and then stage 15, you know, if I face myself, I just throw my whole team in there. Sometimes I'll all up the stats a little bit. But Dantalion is a wonderful hero because as you can see, we were kind of almost dead. Never mind. Oh, okay, no, there, there we go. But these teams, they will heal us a lot in the meantime. Like, look at that, we're already above half. We were maybe a third of the way down. Um, and then this team should heal us as well. The only thing is Mirage might bleed a little bit. Um, but still, the rest of the team should do good. Starlights can be a little bit worrisome. We're practically at full HP. Um, Starlights can be... Um, people who, like, bleed or burn or whatever constantly... Like, Walter paired with um, someone else. Like, if Walter stuns us, and then someone else bleeds, poisons, whatever. The Italian, you know, won't have time to hit him. Most of the time, he'll be fine. Um, but there is a chance that it could end horribly. Again, this is a really rough team. Um, so, it's important to make sure that you build someone who you know will be decent in multiple aspects of the game. Um, for, you know, Dantalion, he's decent in Aspen Dungeon, which, that might be coming er later this week. Um, you know, he's really good here. He's, okay, so we lost, as I was saying that. But, you know, he usually carries me the whole way without dying, and I'll just have to heal him, like, once or twice. Okay, that makes sense. So, we didn't out-damage Norma. It might have been, you know, a decent one to watch. Um, but, just want to see if we can do this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Um, so, again, you know, might have to throw someone else in here. But, for the most part, nah. 
There we go. Just like that. You know, it might take an attempt or two, but Dan Italian self-heal is ridiculous. You know, if you can get a, a nuke like Penny. Yo, what is up with this dude's team? Two seven star. Um, I forget that guy's name. But still, that's that is sad. Whenever you don't use them. There's another one. What is going on? Um, but anyways, you know. If you can get a, a nuke like Penny, Horace isn't bad, or someone who can heal and do a little bit of damage, you know, Karim 10 star, not too bad, because he does heal um, Garuda, fantastic. Um, so, you know, really focus on that, and that's kind of it for, you know, how I generally do this. Whenever you get later in the game, though, it is different. So, maybe... I'll make a video on that and show, you know, like my main team with a few E5s, not a full E5 team yet, you know, but maybe just a little bit extra. If you guys are interested in that, let me know down below. If you guys are earlier game, um, you know, I can cater towards that. Either one, just let me know. And we've officially beaten that. That was fairly easy and it normally goes about that um as long as you profit those little stones it's a good day so there's nothing here i would buy personally on this account um i don't know what i'm looking for as you can see i have 119 i've been buying every um light and dark shard i do that on my main as well as here um i think it's worth it but if you don't want to start building light and dark just yet, you know, it's kind of nice to have a few extra. And if you are building light and dark, buy everything. I mean, that's that's how it should go. Um, you know, unless if you're doing a faction lock or something. I know people play the game differently. But, you know, it's, a, it's an extra resource that you guys could buy. Anyways, um... I'll be making a few videos this week on this account and maybe on my main account since it is kind of a slower week. Um, so just let me know what you guys want to see before I dive into that. But um, yeah, no, we're still we're still able to make progress, so that's good. We haven't really up upgraded anything, um, so I'm excited to do that for our next build. Anyways, guys, this is Two Point Show. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are not. I would greatly appreciate it. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Anyways, guys, peace.